Good um, evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Joseph Kersey, and I'm a junior major here at Berea College. Um, this summer, through both the EPG program and the business department, um, I had the opportunity to intern at uh, ERA, Professional Home Town Services, at Richmond. For recognizing the opportunity, the most uh, prolific thing that I came across was when when I was searching for I was thinking, you know searching for a real estate uh, or for a topic that I could write on real estate for my research paper. I came across an idea that just sort of struck me, and I thought, you know, how how are real estate investors using the, the various financing options and techniques that are available to them available to them to provide for um, lower income housing? And um, it seemed like that, you know, from my perspective, reading all, I've read a lot about investment real estate, and it seemed like a big big part of that was, was missing. They were not focusing on, you know, the lower middle class or the, the Appalachian housing, and there's so much opportunity there that it seems to me that they've missed. Um, the government um, provides many, many programs. There's like FHA loans and rural housing funds and all types of different um, funding that's available, but it doesn't seem like it's being used in the places that really need it the most. Um, in many cases. And um, so I, I reflected that back to when I was in Knott County last summer and, and saw that um, it, it seemed to me that you know they, they had they had a need there uh, in, that, in that area. And it seems like in, in southern Kentucky and southern United States and there's there's a lot of areas there that, that have a need for those different um, options that financing options that investors can learn to use. Um, uh, they can use to acquire the properties at lower lower than market costs and translate those savings to provide for lower income housing options and um, and, and provide for rural housing. And I don't believe this is just on a national scale. I believe this could be even a global scale. There's plenty. There are plenty of you know rural places all over the world um, that they could use. They, they can if the investors would they would take their time to um, really learn and go over these options and internalize them. And be able and think creatively about how they could be used to provide lower income housing. And when they trend, and instead of translating the, those lower costs into profits for themselves, translate those lower costs into lower income housing options. <coughs> and primarily, this is for the United States that I study. <coughs> but um, that that was one one of the biggest opportunities. One of the things that I noticed the most. Was available there in the Richmond area, Madison County area. This opportunity is one of the things that I noticed the most. Was available there in the Richmond area, Madison County area. 